I'd like to think that if you knew how much dry shampoo I was able to incorporate into my hair this morning, you'd be pretty impressed. I amaze even myself sometimes. Uh, that's a little too... Is that better? No. Is that better? Let us begin. So this may not be the type of content you were expecting to see this week. <laughs> and for that, I'm sorry. Initially, I had a project that I was going to do for this week. Very involved, uh, a little bit intricate. Had all hopes of getting that finished in time to upload today. I didn't. It's going to need a few more days to finish. Trials and tribulations of weekly uploading. Which... What a lovely segue into what this video is going to be about. <laughs> so this video is going to be just a chatty, sit down kind of video. So if that's not your cup of tea, I totally understand. But this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. I haven't been able to film this video because I haven't had an extra day. It is the dawn of a new year. I have a few channel updates that I've been thinking a lot about that I want to start implementing. Now that's nothing too dramatic, so don't worry. And no, I'm not pregnant. Stop asking women that. <laughs> As I'm getting kind of in the groove of making content, it's stuff that I've noticed over the past year that, that I wanna correct and other just kind of fun stuff. Course of action for this video. Number one, we're gonna talk about content. New kind of content, the old kind of content, and basically just what I plan for this channel, at least in the foreseeable future. Number two, upload schedule of that content is gonna change just a tiny bit. Number three, merch. A few changes I want to make as far as working with artists to create merch. Improving that a little bit because I feel like I do have a merch store right now. It's not great. We'll talk about it. Number four. I feel like I had one more point and now I can't remember what it was. Whatever, I'm just gonna start talking, and if I come up with a point number four, then so be it. Yes, if you plan to watch this video, to just, you know, get cozy, make yourself a cup of coffee. First of all, content-wise, I don't foresee a huge change in kind of the, the content that I'm making. I just have a few more things that I would like to delve into, add into the channel, rather than subtract anything. All good stuff. Something I've been always wanting to do ever since I made a YouTube channel was to make gaming content. I know this is not everybody's favorite. Some of you have never even watched gaming channels or gaming videos. Totally get it. I've always enjoyed watching people play video games. Um, ever since I can remember, <laughs> my cousin used to to play video games and I would sit on the couch and just watch. Sometimes it's nice to just sit down and watch someone play a video game for, I don't know, 30 minute increments at a time or even longer. I floated this idea out on Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you don't have an Instagram, totally understand, but I do end up putting a lot of updates about YouTube onto Instagram. I try to put them on the community tab here as well, but it just is more natural for me to just post a story about updates. So I'll try to get better at that. I floated that idea about maybe playing Uncharted 4 because it's my favorite video game ever. I got a lot of messages saying that you guys are really interested in that. Obviously, I know it's not gonna get quite as many views and whatever as my other videos, and that's totally fine. I could upload it as extra content. So say I always upload on Friday, maybe I could upload the video game series on a Wednesday or whatever. It's just extra content. If you wanna watch it, if you don't wanna watch it, that's fine. But to do that, um, I physically do not have the time to edit that myself. I was thinking of maybe looking into hiring an editor for that. I struggle with that because I, I love editing my own videos. It's something that I take pride in. Sometimes I don't really feel like doing it, but it's another way for me to express myself. I struggle passing that work off to someone else, but there's only so much work one single person can do, and I just... There's no way, <laughs> there's no way I can do it. I have an appointment with my tax guy next week, so I'm gonna ask them about like, you know, what goes into hiring someone, even as a contractor. I don't know if I need to be an LLC or something. Um, I don't know how that works, so yeah. That's one type of content that I kind of want to add into the channel, just because honestly, I s sometimes tend to get in my own head about my presence on camera. And sometimes I mean almost always. Especially lately I've been feeling like, oh my god, what if you're not funny enough? What if you don't make enough jokes per allotted time period in a video? People are gonna click off, people are gonna be bored. A good exercise for me to just have series where it's just stream of conscious. Really how you get to know someone is not by the funny quips that are very tightly edited and planned, but you know, just sitting down and talking. So 
that's something. More type of content I would like to do, venture more into making stuff out of other stuff. That's something I've always really be, been interested in, especially when it has to do with like recycling, trying to come up with clever ways to use something in a different way than it was meant to be used. You wanna come up here? Come here. Come up here, come on. Come on, baby. Come on up. Uh, come on. Oh yeah. You can do it. Uh, yeah. Cozy? You know, Massachusetts was just on the precipice of having nice springtime weather and then Mother Nature was like, Psych! Something that I've always really enjoyed doing is making set pieces and set design. I'd like to start a series where I make replica or the best that I can replica of certain movie sets in my basement. Hopefully materials that I can recycle. So like cardboard and being clever on a budget. I've always been really interested in filmmaking and stuff, so that's just another way for me to reach into that part of my brain. That's pretty much the two types of content I would like to bring into the channel. I would like the channel to seem more like a community rather than just a bunch of people watching me. <laughs> I feel like with podcasts and stuff, there's usually more than one person. That's more inclusive in a way where you feel like you're sitting down with a couple of friends chatting. And I think it's a little harder to do with just one person as someone who doesn't quite like all the focus being on me and talking about me. <laughs> me. That can, that can be a little difficult. I don't know how to solve that problem. But to make this more of a community, I would like to set up maybe like a subreddit where we can post memes and chat. Oh, number four, Patreon. We'll get to it. Anyways, I would love to hear some ideas about how we can kind of get this into a tighter knit community of friends rather than just like complete strangers. I don't know. Does that make sense? Editing Rachel here. I'd also like to add that I want to start doing a thing where I pick out my favorite comments, whether they be the funniest comments or the meaniest comments. Posting them maybe on Instagram or in a community tab or something. I kind of fear the comment section. Uh, admittedly, having you guys vote on your favorite comments and pushing those up towards the top will save me uh, the mental health passive aggressive comments and just straight up mean comments. I would like the comment section to be sort of a community in itself and have you guys interact with each other and vote on your favorite. That's another thing I want to start doing to start building up kind of almost like a community aspect and also get you guys excited about commenting and seeing other people's cleverness. Okay, back to the video. Number two, schedule. Okay, this is where I feel bad and honestly, even just making this video right now, I have this like stress guilt feeling in my chest. I have instilled it in myself that I need to work hard every day or I don't deserve this platform, which is not a healthy way to work. I think weekly content is not something I can sustain. I've been doing it for three to four years now, and while a lot of times it works, other times, especially where I'm trying to kind of delve into making more intricate projects, one week is not enough. And realistically, it's not even one week. I upload on Fridays, so that gives me Monday through Thursday to finish something. That is four days. That is not a lot of time. And as a result, I sometimes feel like I put out mediocre kind of projects, not something that I want to do. Spend more time on projects, feel like I'm really proud of them rather than I'm just pushing something out to meet a deadline. Say I upload three weeks in a row, but then for the fourth week, I take an extra week to work on a big project. Three videos a month instead of four is something that I think I'm gonna switch to just for my own mental health. If I do delve into the video game thing, that might not even be the case, and I might just have a backlog of video game content that I can just upload. I don't know, I feel really guilty about this, but you know, I need it for my own sake. I will try to be as forthcoming as I can about when I think I'm going to need an extra week. I feel like I put a little bit more pressure on myself than you guys actually do when I made the announcement that um, I was gonna make this kind of video today. You guys are very supportive and that means everything to me. I think you guys realize I'm a human and not a machine more than I do. Three videos a month rather than four. Another thing, less sponsorships. I've started implementing with my agents. Usually do 
two sponsored videos a month and I try to make it so it's every other video. I've never had a problem with other people doing branded content. It mostly comes down to a timing thing. When I work with a brand, if I upload it on a Friday, I need to get them the draft of the video on a Wednesday. If I'm starting a week fresh, that gives me two days to make a video. Sometimes really gets me scratching my head as to what I'm gonna make for content. To solve that, I'm just gonna take away one of those weeks, be able to have the whole week to work on something. It's sort of also about authenticity. I always wanna be authentic with you guys and while I do fully stand by all the brands that I talk about on this channel, I don't know, sometimes I just get tired of trying to sell you guys something, even though it helps out the channel a lot, is a little bit scary to be like, okay, I'm making this amount of money. You know what? I want to make less. And that's where I think Patreon will come in. We're not there yet though. So yeah, I'm going to try to do one sponsored video a month. If there's like a really, really cool brand, like if Netflix approaches me for a brand deal, I'm not going to say no. So if there is two videos a month, then probably because I, I couldn't refuse. They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Hi cat, checking it out. As long as you don't eat my plants, you are welcome in here. Yeah? Do I have both my babies? Come on up here. Oh, look at these pets. Oh, look at them. They're all for you if you come up here. Oh, there's more where that came from. Mmm. Fine. Number three was about merch. Something I've been wanting to do is collaborate with an artist to work on merch. Because I don't think of merch as an active income for me, it's just kind of something on the side, all of my merch profits could go to different donations. Maybe every month I switch up the charity, the organization where the profits go, my portion of the profits. I don't know how it works with working with an artist. Obviously that would be something I would chat about with the artists that I choose or artists. They would keep their portion, the website where I host the march would keep their portion, but my portion would just go straight to a donation. That's something I um, am really excited about and something that I feel like I've reached a point on this platform where I want to start giving back because I've always wanted to do that and never felt like I could. So now that I have the opportunity to do so, that's something I really, really want to do. And after watching the documentary about Audrey Hepburn, I just, I really want to make a difference somehow. <laughs> Starting small that way, I think is a good idea. If anyone knows of merch website that uses more sustainable options for clothing, then I'm definitely all ears. I've done some research, but it's really hard to find one. Number four, Patreon. Something I've been putting off for literally years. Some of you are probably getting tired of me saying, yes, haha, I'm gonna have a Patreon, and then I just never do it. <laughs> Oops. It's going to happen, I swear. I still have a little bit of figuring out to do in terms of tiers. Like I said, I do want to start having a bit more of a tight-knit community, and I think Patreon is a good way to do that. You feel like you're a part of something. I'm not crazy about the fact that there's a paywall in order to get into that community. I think that's kind of weird when you think about it post polls, ask your opinion on stuff. I could do that on Instagram, but there are so many people on Instagram that don't actually watch my videos that I would rather have a community that's really interested in my content to make the decisions with me rather than people that are like, I don't know, sure, post more pictures of your dog. I also figured Patreon would be a good way to post some behind the scenes content in terms of like the rewards you get. I guess. When I'm spending two weeks on a project, it might be nice to film a behind the scenes, here I am so far kind of thing, or just photos so people get kind of like a sneak peek. Cause I don't like to post those things on Instagram cause I don't know, spoilers. <laughs> but you know, if you pay for the spoilers, the whole thing's weird whole thing's weird. I'm not psyched about the idea of people paying for content, which is so weird because then I think about like the Patreons I donate to and I'm like more than happy to just throw my money at them because I want to support them. Honestly, don't really ever go on Patreon for the extra content. I just want them to have my money. So, but then when I think about it in terms of myself, I'm like, oh, <laughs> please don't feel any pressure once I publish my Patreon. Don't feel any pressure at all. I totally get it. <laughs> it's just for people that have been asking and want to. Boy, it's a twister out there. Potato patrons, potatrons. That's it, that's what it's called. Does that sound like a spud related army hell bent on world domination? Kinda. Nope, 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 n
fish man everything's fine i'm just trying to get a little bit out of my head um, not put so much pressure on myself i feel like you have this mindset of you want your channel to keep doing better and better and better you want every video to top itself that's not a sustainable way of thinking and i know a lot of youtubers think like that it's good to take a step back and kind of cater to what you've already built rather than always seeking newer viewers. That's something that I need to learn. Ever looming one million number floating about, I feel like especially puts some pressure on me to want to reach that number and want to always be drawing in new people. I'm getting a little bit better in terms of not really caring, wanting to connect with people rather than just, uh, you know, throw out content. At the end of the day, I just want to bring a little bit of wholesome content onto the internet and I want you to feel like you have a friend in me. I'm gonna do it. When the road gets overhead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, you just remember what your old pal said. Yeah, you got a friend in me. Thank you. I'm gonna add Randy Newman impressions to my new content as well. I just want my little corner of the internet to be a place where you can relax and escape, have some laughs. That's all I want. I know there's always going to be people that don't like me. I know there's always going to be people that hate watch my videos. I appreciate you too, my little grumpuses. There's always going to be people that are funnier than me and people that I compare myself to and learning a lot to step back and think about um, myself as myself and my channel as my channel and not compare it to anything else. A phrase that has totally transformed the way I think about things. It came from like a meme about horror movie girls and them getting their revenge and it just says like, good for her. It's kind of like my mantra lately. Oh my god. Instead of thinking, oh, I wish my videos did as well as theirs, and I wish blah, 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 instead, replace that with good for them. You know, it just feels, that's where my heart is, yes. It feels much better. Here's to lifting each other up and not comparing yourself or tearing anyone down. Don't ever do that. I, I honestly don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be of any interest to anyone. So many big projects planned that I'm excited with this new timeline I can actually do and not just keep putting off. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this whole video if you're still here. Holy cow. I It's hard for me to imagine that people actually want to listen to what I say. Something I don't think I'll ever quite get used to being a YouTuber. That part in Parks and Rec where Jerry is talking in the conversation and then everyone goes quiet and listens to him and then he starts like fumbling and messing up. If I, and, you know, and then your kids and cause you're like, I don't know. And everyone's like, oh, I'm sorry guys. No one ever lets me talk this long. I, I just got lost. That is me in a nutshell. So for me to be a YouTuber is quite an oxymoron. I'm feeling really optimistic about the next few months and this year. I just got a lot of big plans, okay? I don't know that I, I have the skill to execute all of them or the time management, but we're gonna try. And you have any recommendations of the type of content you would like to see, please leave it down below. I would love to know. And yeah, just know that I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. That's it. So I'll see you next week. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> I said you get a friend in me.